This is Matt from Go To Driving School, and today I'm going to make a quick video on fuel. So maybe this is your first time putting fuel into a car. Today I'm going to go through the whole thing, driving to the fuel station, planning as to what pump you're going to use, and how to position, and then actually putting the fuel in, best practices, etc. <laughs> So the first things that you need to really be thinking about or be aware of before you put fuel in for the first time, what type of fuel? So is it diesel or is it petrol? Unleaded is petrol. Make sure you're understood what fuel it is you need. But once you know that, that you know where the cap is. So you wanna know is the fuel cap on the left or right? Because ultimately that's gonna help you to know where to position when you get to the fuel station. Most fuel stations now have the flexible hoses where the hoses reach, but some still don't. I'll just go through basics today. So already I'm sort of looking into the fuel station, looking what's going on. We can turn just before the bus there, got time. And the fuel cap is on the left in this car. So I'm first gear when I come in, First gear is normally a good one for car parks. It gives me time, look, it allows me to put my clutch on the floor and just give me time to have a look around. I've already clocked which uh, pump I'm gonna use. It's over there, number seven. So I'm just using clutch control here. I'm checking my right mirror because there's a big space here and cars could undertake me if they wanna park to do some shopping. If there's things around, I'm gonna signal. I'm not gonna bother here. I don't want to steer too early. When I position, I want to make sure there's enough room to put my feet so it's comfortable. I also don't want to hit that silver bar there. Shoulder check for any bikes. And just clutch control here. And you can see on the pumps there, we've got diesel, unleaded, and supreme unleaded. So just clutch control coming in. Clutch down, let it roll. And I'm kind of looking over my shoulder here for the pumps, just so that I can line up the, the fuel cap with the pump that I need, which is the unleaded pump there. Next thing to do, you wanna bring the keys with you um, because some cars require the key to open the cap. Some cars have a little button inside. So as you can see, there's lots of space here to stand, probably a bit too much, but it doesn't really matter as long as there's lots of space to get for the other car to get positioned over there. This car, just peel the cap open, flick the key out pop the key in, let go, it's not going to fall, turn, oh, turn, the other way, that'd be good, pop that out, and just pop the whole thing on there, so we want unleaded, when you put the nozzle up, keep it upright, so fuel doesn't spill out, because there's going to be loose fuel in there, you see, pop that in, all the way, and you'll see, when I press the trigger, the numbers move, if you're on a budget, and you've only got a tenner in your pocket, you can press it really lightly and the numbers move really slowly, a bit like your accelerator pedal. If I press it full pressure, it goes fast again. So I'm gonna keep it on full pressure until it clicks. Now the next thing is, it won't overflow. Because the nozzle's all the way in, what happens is it's sort of shaped like that, the nozzle is, the fuel will back up the nozzle and cut itself off. So we're waiting for the click. If you do spill any fuel, there's always a bucket of sand nearby gloves stored in the bins if ever you want to put the gloves on first so it's just clicked so rather than just rip it straight out I'm going to pull it out a little bit nozzle still inside give it a shake turn it back on itself so the fuel goes tips back into the funnel and not down the side of your car which could damage your paintwork or on the floor which somebody could slip on it's important to note that diesel's much more slippery than petrol and that's what the sand's for to neutralize the spill put that in turn the motor off and there you can see that's the cost £44.92 the amount of litres we got for our money and the pence we paid per litre and that's the number so when you go in you're going to say number seven pop that back in turn it pull it out if you're unsure give it a little turn and just shut that too now the other thing just to just quickly We've got the Supreme Unleaded, which is again unleaded, but it's a more purer type of fuel, and that's going to be more for your uh, performance type cars. So if you've just got an average car, it's not going to be any use. And the diesel's obviously for diesel. Okay, so I'm going to go in and pay for number seven. 
So the next thing I'm gonna do is reset my mileage on my computer. So here's my uh, front console, here's my trip computer. Currently it's on trip one. So that measures how many miles it's predicting I get out of this next tank. 410, but let's look at the actual last tank and see what the actual figures were. So this is trip computer one. And we averaged 37.6 miles per gallon we actually got 278 miles out of the tank with an average speed of 17 mile an hour. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset that and I'm going to hold this button for a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, that's reset. I reset that at the end of every tank so I can um, keep track of what miles per gallon I'm getting and sometimes if there's a problem with your tyres or anything it might affect miles per gallon. So it could be a good indicator as to why that's happening. So it's good to keep track of that. You've also got a trip two. So if you press that, now over 6,214 miles, I've averaged 37.1 miles per gallon. So I never reset that. In fact, I probably reset it every 6,000 around. So um, I'm gonna keep that running for now. I'm gonna put it back onto um, actuals. So this fluctuates actually as we're driving. I hope that this video has been useful, just giving you a little bit of info in driving out of a fuel station. So, of course, cars could be coming from anywhere, it could be round from the right corner, round from the left. So just make sure that as you go in, you are using clutch control, you're not committing, and that you are checking each shoulder as you're edging out of the fuel station. So I hope that helps, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments section below if it does. I'll see you in the next video.